Okay, on the patient, we're going to do a laser vaginal rejuvenation procedure. The patient has had two children. She has stress urinary incontinence. She has what we call a cystourethrocele, where the bladder and urethra is falling down here. Okay, this is the urethra here, bladder here, and then a rectal seal, uh, meaning that the rectum is herniating up here, and then perineal body relaxation here. We're going to repair everything top, bottom, outside, bring the muscles back together top, bottom, and outside. She wants to be as if she never had children before. That's the how tight she wants to be. So we'll bring you back and forth so you can kind of understand the procedure. All right, right now what I'm doing, I'm placing a, what we call a tumescent solution. It's actually a solution that we use for liposuction. And this is going up under the submucosa so that it can prevent uh, bleeding and oozing. So we will continue this into the anterior wall, which is the top, posterior wall, the bottom, throughout. And then we will start the procedure. We'll bring you back in. Okay, we're gonna use, we're gonna make the first uh, incision point now. The laser is used to do all the cutting and dissecting. We're working on the anterior wall, that's the top. I'm gonna to make the laser, what I'm holding is the cervix. I'm gonna make the laser incision here. centimeters up from the uh, external cervical off. That's the opening of the cervix. There you go. Put it back there. Two long alices. We have to open up this mucosa. Mix and bond. Mix and bond. Mix and bond. Mix. Oh, the big, the long ones? Mm -hmm. So sorry. Mix. Mm -hmm. Mix. Mm -hmm. Didn't we have an alice? Sure. We're just getting started here. Make an alice. Just the mucosa. We're opening the mucosa. Undermining mucosa. Laser. Take the laser. We're going to open up the mucosa here. I've got to be able to get to the muscles. Bring it back in. I'm undermining the mucosa. I'm going to open it with the laser. We will continue this all the way up to the external, about one centimeter from the external urethral meatus. Alice is apparent. The laser is used for all the cutting, dissecting. It's also hemostatic. Alice is a pair. Okay, 
again, I have to carry this all the way up to about one centimeter from the, this is the external urethra meatus. I'm gonna bring it up to here about. I'm gonna have to take down this tissue here. I'm gonna what we call score it. So I can bring this down. I'm taking it off the submucosa. Clean that is next. Call a peanut. I'm gonna tease the tissue off. Laser. I'm going to score this tissue. We'll bring you back in. Now what I have to do is bring this pubal vesicle cervical fascia back together to reconstruct this anterior wall. Okay, so I have to stop her stress incontinence as well. I want you to think this is the Foley catheter. There's the balloon, here's the bladder, here's the urethra. So I'm pulling this to determine what we call this urethral vesicle angle. That's what I have to support. And all along the urethra to stop her problems with stress incontinence. I'm gonna get good bites in the tissue. Bring you back in. Let's have the at the bottom. You get a good bite right here. This is what this is our what we call our urethral vesicle angle right here. I will do another stitch on the side. This is a non-observable suture.
like this again is that uh, the lethal vesicle angle, a very critical angle here to give her support so it stops her stress urinary incontinence. We're also building up the anterior wall. Bring the fascia back together. It'd be easier if you just think about it as muscle. Bring the muscle back together. Think of a tummy tuck. As an analogy. Now along the urethra. Did you feel that? Okay. We're going to walk up along the urethra here. We're going to bring you back in. Okay, we completed the repair of the anterior wall here along the urethra. We secured the urethral vesicle angle to stop a problem with stress and continence and continued up along the urethra. Now I'm going to bring some tissue back together for the bladder support here. Here's the bladder, right here. We're gonna put a couple sutures here. We're going to continue. We'll bring you back in. We'll put a couple more here. Okay, now we have bifurcated bladder. Okay, support the, the bladder, the urethra, the urethral vesicle angle, stop the stress and tightening. Uh, now we're going to resect this excess mucosa. Okay, laser. This is the excess mucosa. We've got to resect it on both sides. The other side now, we're going to do the same thing. Laser. We'll bring it back in. The location of the muscles and fascia are complete, meaning bringing them back together, tightening them, reconstructing them. Now I'm going to close the mucosa. We remove the excess mucosa, which is the lining of the vagina. Lepus membrane is in the mouth. Same thing in the vagina. You run your tongue along your cheek, that's a mucous membrane. Same thing here. We resect the excess. Now we're closing it. This is an absorbable suture. The patient will be completely healed in six weeks. No sex for six weeks. No exercise for six weeks. No yoga, spinning, cycling, Pilates for six weeks. Go back to work in a week.
completely outpatient procedure. She had what we call a pedendal block. She won't feel anything for 18 to 24 hours. A pedendal block is like a, it's a nerve block. It's just like with, when you go to the dentist, that's a nerve block, but that only lasts about two hours. This will last 18 to 24 hours. Afterwards, she'll have a strong pain medication Percocet, and she will have antibiotics for, um, for one week. She will also have a reference repository of pure lidocaine because the discomfort primarily is at the perineum, the area immediately outside the vagina and above the anus. Women say that this feels as if they had an episiotomy. So when you had the baby, primarily the first baby, and the obstetrician did the cut to give the baby more room to come out, that's what it feels like. The discomfort is centered right in the perineum. We'll have a catheter for four days. We come back to the office on day four, and we will remove the catheter. We just put the bladder at rest for four days. Then we take it out. It's a little leg bag that goes under the pants skirt jeans. So it can still go out. You don't have to worry about it. We'll bring it back in. Okay. The entire front wall is reconstructed now. We brought the, the fascia back together, fascia muscles, if you will. You think of it as muscles, but it's all the fascia up at the top. Brought that back together, tighten it, it will heal together. We resected the excess mucosa and closed that with an absorbable suture. So everything is corrected now for our stress incontinence and for our complete support anteriorly. Now we're gonna go, we're gonna work on the posterior wall and deal with this rectal seal, this weakness here, and the perineum. We'll bring you back in. I'm going to remove the skin of the perineum now. This is how we're going to actually start entering the posterior wall so we can deal with the most important muscles, the big pelvic floor muscles, the levator A9 muscles. We'll bring you back in it up now so that we can work on the posterior floor. We're going to deal with this rectal seal. Rectal seal just means that the, the, the muscles, the muscles of the posterior wall, okay, or floor, they're pulled apart. If these are the muscles, they're pulled apart. And they're, even the rectum is pushing up. Okay, some women even say they have to push down here so they have bowel movement because of the direction of the bowel is trying to move it. It's coming up instead of out. We've opened up here the perineum, we remove the skin, okay? So we're gonna go all the way up to 1.5 centimeters from the posterior cervical lip. We're gonna open it up so we get to the levator A9 muscle. That's about it. Put a malleable down there. We're going to open up the mucosa. Alice is the pair. We're just moving all the way up to open up the mucosa so we can get to the uh, very important muscles, the lead area muscle, and fascia. 
That's just the cover. Bring it back in. This has some much. Okay, we're continuing to move up. Opening up the mucosa. Color from the pair. Undermining mucosa, these are medicine bombs. Razor. We're going to open the mucosa. Alex is here. Bring you back in. Okay, we're going to take this all the way up to 1.5 centimeters from the posterior cervical lip. That's the posterior cervix, meaning the bottom lip of the cervix. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to score this uh, uh, periripheral fascia here so that we can take it down so that we can get to the levator ani muscles, the very important pelvic floor muscles, to reconstruct the posterior wall here and give her nice support. We, overall, we will decrease the internal diameter, external diameter, and build up the perineal body. She wants to be as if she never had children before. So we're going to start that now. We're just going to score this, the submucosa here, laser. And I will tease this tissue off. These are actually some varicosities here. Peanut is next. What is that? Peanut is next. All right. Now we're going to tease this off. Those are very costly. You see that? Right there. Right there. You have to bring this down so I can get good access to the muscles here. We have this periripheral fascia down on the right, on the left, okay? And then I'm gonna get real good binds in the levator ani muscles. That's how I'm really gonna tighten her up, bring her back together. I have this, uh, oh, ovicral. stitch, I'm going to tie this, bring you back in. Bring the muscles back together. Levator ani muscles, very important support muscles of the pelvic floor. They will heal together. Her goal was to be as if she never had children.
we will continue this plantation all the way out. Good bites and the rebater in our muscles and fascia here. This will heal very nicely. Then she will know excellent tone, strength, and tactile force. Decrease the internal diameter, external diameter, and build up the hair in the body. We continue all the way out with this repair. We'll bring you back in. Now we completely reconstructed these uh, levator A9 muscles all the way in, all the way out. It's gonna enhance tone, strength, okay? Contractile force. We'll be decreasing the overall diameter of the vagina as if she never had children. These are the superficial and deep transverse perineal muscles. I'll close those after I close this. We'll bring you back in. Now I'm going to respect the excess mucosa. I'm determining the, the exact amount to take off. What I take off on the right, I will take off on the left. I will go all the way up to the apex. That's my alice in the midline. And then we'll go to the other side. Curve this in. That's the midline. That. We're going to go to the other side. We'll bring it back in. We're going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to respect the excess mucosa. Almost there to come off. Okay, that's it. Now we're going to prepare to close and bring you back in. Now we're going to close the mucosa. Everything is prepared. The muscles are repaired. The levator A9 muscles are repaired. Here for sure.
also have fantastic support. Bites. This is old. This is for Ovipro. It's absorbable suture. He absorbs in about six weeks, a little bit longer. I'm going to continue this all the way out. First thing that we're going to do, we're going to bring back the edges of the late of uh, the hymenal ring. This is the hymenal ring here. We're going to bring those edges back there. We want everything nice, neat, and symmetrical. We'll bring it back in. Again, we'll close in the uh, the closer here. A little small bite. Want to get everything nice and hemostatic. Bring it back in. Now, everything is back together inside. Top wall, anterior wall, bottom wall, posterior wall. Now we have to repair the perineum. That takes a toll as well. We want to build up the perineal body. This is the perineum. We'll bring you back in. Okay, now we brought the uh, hymenal ring back together. That's the hymenal ring here. That's the hymenal ring. We brought that back together. Now we want to bring the ends of the labia minora back together. Here's the labia majora. Here's the labia minora. Then after this, we're going to close the uh, superficial and deep transverse perineal muscles. We're going to bring those back together. Tighten those. CP1. Now, this is the superficial and deep transverse perineal muscles. That's the support for the perineum. Ovicle CP1. Regular long needle holder. Long needle holder. Put a short needle holder there. In the middle. In the middle. Okay, we're going to bring this back together. This is the superficial and deep transverse perineal muscles. We're going to continue this on down until it's all back together. bring you back in. We have the superficial and deep transverse perineal muscles back together. This is support of the perineum. Now we're going to build up the uh, that's in the soft tissue here. I'll need to hold it now. We'll do a fiber closure totally. We'll bring you back in. Continue the song down. All right, we already put two layers in. The most important in the muscle. Now, we're just further obliterating. We call this space. Building it up. This is the suture from the vagina. This is, we will run this.
continue this all the way down. Bring it back in. Bring it back in, continue this all the way up. Just for the repair so far, I gotta go put a couple of uh, interrupted sutures here. Again, this is all absorbable, there's nothing to remove. Bring it back in. Okay, now we completed our laser vaginal rejuvenation procedure. The patient had stress urinary incontinence. It means that when she last calls strains or exercise, she can lose urine. It's socially embarrassing and hygienically unacceptable to the patient. We corrected all of that. Uh, she wanted to be as if she never had children before. So we, malleable. So everything is tightened up, okay? Top, all the entire top, all right? The entire bottom, we have excellent support excellent support of the perineum, decreased the internal diameter, external diameter, and built up the perineal body. She'll be healed, completely healed in six weeks. She can do whatever she wants in six weeks.